way, the state says they're going to track it by giving personal phone calls. This is not like the flu. If you get the flu, you know it and everybody else knows it. But if you have COVID-19, you may not know it. And Governor Charlie Baker says that's the problem. We tested a, a nursing home, 98 people, 51 percent positive, nobody asymptom, nobody, uh, nobody symptomatic. The state is now attempting to trace the virus. Their plan? Phone calls. People who tested positive will get a call asking about their close group of contacts. They will all be asked to isolate. About 600 people have been hired to make the calls. If you get a call, you will see Massachusetts COVID team show up on your caller ID. This activity is not uh, an attempt to invade anybody's privacy, and we're certainly not sharing anyone's private information uh, with anyone beyond the public health uh, officials. The governor says the calls are key and asks people to pick up the phone. Please pick up if you get that call. This is your opportunity to help spread, stop the spread of COVID-19. The governor says while we are seeing improvement, we are not in the clear just yet. The piece of data we watch most closely is the number of hospitalizations for COVID-19. And we're still seeing an increase, a modest one, but an increase there statewide. And so there are 18,000 hospital beds available for COVID uh, patients, but the governor says and the mayor says that more than half are still available. We're live in Boston, Kerry Corrado. Fuck off, Kerry, you suck like the rest of them. So about the tracing program. Brockton residents, this is Mayor Robert Sullivan, and it's Tuesday, April 22nd, and I wanted to come and give you an update like I've been doing all along. I have some further sad news, uh, of course, uh, loss of life because of COVID-19 here in the city of Brockton has continued. As I speak to you now, we've lost 79 residents, 79 people have passed away. Again, my thoughts uh, and prayers go to the departed, of course, their loving, uh, living um, loved ones as well. Um, since uh, this started, we've had 1,646 Brockton residents have uh, come down positive. Uh, some of those have recovered, which is great news, but actively, as I speak to you right now, active current cases are 1,123. Um, so again, we just have to do the social physical distancing. We really have to. Um, uh, yesterday, there was a soccer match going on at Edgar's Playground. Um, there was a massive line at the Dairy Queen. Uh, we have to do what the healthcare professionals are telling us so that we can flatline and then eventually decrease. But until we all get on board, unfortunately, I think the numbers are going to spike. Um, one thing I wanted to share with you, again, Governor Baker made a declaration today that all schools are going to be closed for the remainder of the school year. Uh, so there will be no opening on May 4th. It won't be until the fall. Um, and I know uh, it's, it's heartbreaking for some people that had milestones uh, but unfortunately, it's in this time with this pandemic, we have to take all precautions. So uh, they are closed through the end of the calendar year, school calendar year. Um, in terms of contact tracing services, it's great news for Brockton because, again, we have the high number of COVIDs. The state, and I want to thank Lieutenant Governor Polito. I want to thank Governor Baker. I want to thank MEMA and DPH and, of course, the three state reps and the state senate for working with us uh, and Congressman Stephen Lynch as well as U.S. Senator Ed Markey. They're going to be doing tracing starting today here in the city of Brockton. Contact tracing is just what it says. Um, you'll be getting a call if you have had contact with someone that's tested positive, uh, and they want to trace the flow of this virus to try to mitigate it and minimize, and it's a solution-based approach. Um, when you get a call on your caller ID, it's going to say Mass MA COVID COVID team. Mass COVID team. If you get that on your caller ID, that indeed is the state calling, helping us here in Brockton, along with our Board of Health nurse, uh, Board of Health Executive Director John McGarry, and the Brockton Public School nurses that have been helping for weeks to deal with COVID. Um, I also wanted to let you know that I made another declaration to try to help Brockton residents. The um, water sewer trash bill is usually due on June 4th. I've asked the DPW commissioner to extend that out. It's the right thing to do. It will be pushed off until July 5th. 
you know, the big thing is that you don't understand is that it's, if you came in contact with someone who tested positive, so how they do that is they call the puppet who was tested positive, and that puppet will then give out all the phone numbers, and then those people will get a phone call saying you came in contact with puppet boy one, COVID bullshit, right? And that's how your government gets it. It's not like they're going to call you up and you can hang up. They've already got your information from the little rat scumbag, and they're all over the fucking place. All these people who tested positive that nobody fucking knows about, right? No one, I don't know anybody who tested fucking positive. I don't. And there we go, bang. The fucking, so they ring your phone, they're like, well, he said you knew him. Tell him to go fuck off and suck a dick and hang up on him. Really, use your fucking brain, man. Fucking bunch of another fucking way to get into your filthy, stinking life. Fucking, they ruin every fucking thing. They just don't give a shit, man. They don't give a fuck about people.